hands up if you are feeling completely overwhelmed by the mess and state of your home. I am right here with you. I totally understand. That's why I'm so excited to take you with me today during a whole house clean with me and share with you a few really easy to maintain cleaning hacks that have no joke changed our lives. Hello and good morning. Welcome here. If you're new here, my name is Delilah. I make motherhood and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. I've been vlogging our life and the growth of our family for the last five years. And today I'm sharing with you the cleaning hack, hacks, plural, that have completely changed our lives. As a mom of three, our lives are busy, our home is full, our home gets messy very quickly, and sometimes it feels like it's all we can do just to stay on top of things or cleaning constantly and for us Zach and I both work from home so it's very important for us for our environment to feel welcoming and stress-free and when our home is a mess that is not the way that we feel and and the environment of our home doesn't feel as welcoming or pleasant either so we decided one day we were going to switch things up we wanted to try something something i've been thinking about for a while we decided to switch up our cleaning routine now this isn't my original idea i heard about this forever ago from somebody else i'm pretty sure there's like a technical name for it if you know what the name is or who to give credit to let me let us know in the comments below but the idea is to do a little bit of cleaning every single day, like every day have a set chore that you do instead of allowing everything to pile up for one day. And that's what we were doing. And that's what worked for us for a number of years. That's actually how I grew up is Saturdays were cleaning days and we, we did our chores that day. While that might work for some people, that just wasn't working for us anymore. Sundays were fantastic because we had a fully clean house, but then as the week went on, things just started piling up and getting more stressful and we just felt like there was this niggling feeling in the back of our minds like we just need to do this we need to clean we need to clean it's just like this constant feeling of having to clean we felt like we weren't able to focus on anything not only that but we felt like our weekends were completely taken up by cleaning if we wanted to go somewhere or do something fun on saturday we had to somehow make up for all the cleaning that was supposed to happen that day. So either the cleaning didn't happen that Saturday and was pushed to the following week and then that week was just extra stressful, or we would try and squeeze it all in on Friday on top of our work and it just, it just felt like our weekends were solely focused on cleaning and we really wanted to free up our weekends. So this cleaning hack has helped us do that and it has been incredible. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step what we do i'm going to take you along do a whole house clean with me but instead of doing it in one day i'm doing it throughout the week and i'm going to take you along and show you what that looks like for us and on top of that i am sharing a few other cleaning hacks that i do every single day little things here and there that really help make a huge difference in our home help us stay on top of things and help things feel a lot less overwhelming and stressful. So if you want to know more, want to know what that looks like for us, then keep on watching. It is Monday and Mondays are hugely dedicated to just getting our week started off on the right foot. We do a lot of just preparing ourselves for the week mentally and like planning and preparing, prepping and food. Since Mondays are grocery shopping days, it only makes sense that Monday chore is something food related. So what I've been doing is every Monday, in addition to grocery shopping, prepping the groceries, like washing the fruit, cutting the meat, getting rid of whatever nasties are in the fridge. I also choose one food area to completely declutter, deep clean, and organize. This has helped tremendously to get our food storage situation figured out. And since I've organized pretty much every space so far, the space that needs the most cleaning right now is actually the fridge because while it gets decluttered of the nasties every week, I haven't been very good with actually wiping it down. And so it needs a good clean. That's what we're doing today. But I find with each week, as we continue to do this, my Monday chore gets easier and easier because I'm able to actually maintain a cleaner space. And so there's not as much to do on that Monday chore. So I'm gonna get started just by clearing out the fridge, making sure there's nothing gross and molding in there. And then I'm gonna pull everything out and start wiping it all down. Once 
actually quite late. We had a lot of errands to run this time, so overhead lights are necessary. We pulled out a lot out of the fridge this time. I did a little bit of a deeper clean, went through the condiments as well. Um, I found some spinach that is still good, but will probably go bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my frozen spinach so that we can put it in smoothies and it doesn't go to waste. And then after that, we're gonna start clearing this out. One of my favorite things about doing this weekly clean of my fridge is not having so much food go to waste. I'm able to catch things like veggies um, before they're about to go bad and freeze them, prepare them and freeze them, and we can eat them later. And then that way I can always add like frozen carrots into a dish like I did today, or frozen cabbage or frozen spinach, whatever it is. not even that bad. I've definitely seen worse. We've got some drawers that have some good old crumbs inside that, but that's not a big deal. Like the doors are pretty clean. So I just got my handy dandy multi-purpose spray. I'm gonna go at this. vacuuming days which is a little bit more uh, time consuming just because in order to vacuum you need to clear the floors and if you're clearing the floors you might as well organize so I usually take this time to just do a little bit of a deeper clean than we do on a day-to-day -day basis for example I've started going through Williams toy basket underneath the coffee table I haven't gone through this in a long time but just making sure that there's nothing in here that doesn't belong in here because, you know, children, you know how that goes. Right now is the afternoon. The two oldest two are in quiet time. William is out with his dad for a bike ride, and so I have a chance to do his room and a few other areas of the house, but I won't be able to tackle the kids' room until they're awake. In addition to our weekly chores, we also do cleanup time every single day, and we involve the kids in that. We think it's really important that the kids you know, learn to clean up after themselves and take responsibility and do that. So I'm not actually gonna clean up a lot of their toys. Some of them I'll go ahead and do for them um, or like I'll go through their toy shelf and make sure it's organized and in proper order. But 
Like there's stuff on the floor right now. Like I'm not gonna clean that up. That is something they can easily do on their own. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tidying up the house. regular cleanups and checks now that uh, William is old enough to crawl around because he will find these itty bitty teeny tiny pieces and he will put them in his mouth. I mean, just look at him. What? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You're trying to get into the sink. Did you get stuck? quickly just got William's room completely done so that I could put him down for a nap. I know the oldest two, the big kids, they're out of their room. They're playing for a bit before they start clean up time, but while the room is available and free, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a vacuum. They are due for a mini toy rotation. We, s we still don't have closet doors. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's besides the point. I'm just not sure how much time I have today, so that might be something that has to wait for next week. to me how I never noticed that this picture was not centered until now. How did I not notice that? kids are in bed. The vacuuming is done. It feels so good to have the vacuuming done. Now I am going to start doing some laundry. Laundry is not an item that is on our weekly schedule because it's a daily thing. I try to do one load of laundry every single day. Not just washing, but folding as well. And that's where I've struggled with. Like I can easily get a load of laundry going every single day. I can get it through the wash, I can get it through the dryer. It's kind of part of my morning routine, but folding it is another story, which is why I have two baskets of laundry here today. I just did not get around to it last night. I was up until like 10 p.m. just cleaning the kitchen. It got so late. So I'm gonna sit down now and do that before it piles up too much and becomes really overwhelming. <laughs> like I should maybe mention briefly how I wash laundry because I've discovered a method that works so good for me. The first load will be like kids clothes. All the kids clothes and that's the longest one because or the most time consuming one because I have to 
scrub <laughs> most of the stains out. But I use a bunch of farmers natural stain stick i can link it below works like a charm on tough stains that don't want to come out i'll hang them outside and let the sun do all the magic the next day i'll do like our clothes like mine and zach's clothes so adult clothes just so that it's easier for me to fold in the end like for me right now this is the kids clothes so it's nice to just fold all the kids clothes knowing it's going into two rooms uh, when I do mine and Zach's clothes, it's nice folding the clothes knowing it's just going into mine and Zach's room. Then I do towels in another load. And then the last type of load I'll do is diapers because we do cloth diaper, which is actually what's in the laundry right now. And because we do cloth diaper, sometimes I'll end up doing two loads of laundry in a day. But that's it. I don't separate colors. I don't separate jeans from the rest. I don't separate whites from dark. I don't do any of that and probably helps that we don't have a lot of bright colors in our wardrobes. Like the kids have obviously some color but I have never noticed an issue with color transfer, white's not staying white. Generally speaking, if there's something that's like really saturated in color, I'll wash it with like colors the first time I wash it and then after that, we're good. Welcome to my bathroom. Today is Thursday. Yesterday I did not film anything because I was busy vlogging for last week, next week. It's all confusing in my head, but yesterday Zach went ahead and did the mopping for me. So for us, Wednesdays are mopping days. Mondays are grocery days, Tuesdays are vacuuming, Wednesdays are mopping. When it comes to cleaning our home, Zach and I carry the load together. Whoever is most available that day or that week does the chores, or sometimes we'll do it together. Lots of the time, Zach's actually the one who does a lot of this stuff because I do more of like the deep cleaning and organizing, and then he does more of the surface cleaning, like these weekly chores. But yes, yesterday Zach did the mopping for me, which was lovely, and today I'm tackling the bathrooms or the bathroom. <laughs> Currently, our ensuite is being renovated, and our basement bathroom is very rarely used, so it's not something we clean every single week. So, I'm just going to be cleaning this bathroom today. It gets forgotten about is down here right in this nook of the toilet it gets so dusty so fast it looks like there's some toothpaste on the floor too <laughs> but it gets so dusty so fast i clean it every single week and i don't want to know how gross and dusty it would be if i didn't did mop yesterday. We have little children in the house and sometimes there's accidents and there was an accident this morning. We did clean it up but I just want to be extra sure so I'm just going to give it a, an extra good mop. It has been a particularly uh, fun-filled, wild week, and so I feel like this is an appropriate week to film this video just for the sake of realness. <laughs> we skipped cleanup time yesterday, and you could tell. We woke up this morning to a very, very messy house, and that's just how it is some days. I mean, that's how it goes. That was, that was mess made from one day. This is what we're continually trying to pick up 
and stay on top of, but sometimes it just doesn't happen and that's okay. Sometimes we live in a super messy house and that's normal. So join me for a very satisfying cleaning time lapse of our home. <laughs> on to our Friday chore. For Fridays, there's no one particular chore that we do. This is the day that we pick a chore that needs to be done that is not on our list of things to do every week. Things like dusting, window cleaning, uh, maybe or deep organizing a certain space. It could be cleaning a vehicle, decluttering a closet, really whatever just needs to be done. Today that looks like wiping down windows. They don't all need to be done, but definitely the bottom half of all of the lower windows <laughs> need to be done as well as things like mirrors, glass, stuff like that. Anywhere that the kids can get their little fingerprints on. And since that's not going to take too long, I'm also going to go ahead and do some dusting just kind of around the house, a few surfaces, because those are two simple chores that don't take a lot of time but have been piling up. Pretty much everything, I just use a multi-purpose spray. I use a concentrate and mix it with water. I've also done a mix of vinegar and water before. That works fantastic. Just to get like the dirt and grime off. And then for windows and glass, I'm going to use just water and then these glass cloths that leave it streak free. I can link below cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Last night we had to leave for my niece's birthday party so I didn't quite finish up. I'm gonna do that now. this week's chores. That's that's what it looks like for us on a weekly basis. Every day we have one certain dedicated chore that we do and we tackle. Zach's outside mowing the grass right now. <laughs> I tell you, even just waking up today, today is Saturday, waking up today and seeing my house in a clean state, knowing that I don't have to clean my house today felt so good. I'm so used to waking up on the weekends feeling like I have so much to do, but not having that burden over the weekend is just such a freeing feeling. One more thing that I wanted to mention before I wrap up this video is that we close the kitchen every night before we go to bed because I don't know about you, but I would much rather stay up late cleaning the kitchen and wake up to a fresh inviting space instead of waking up to a disaster of a house. So that's actually what I'm gonna do right now. We try and clean up the kitchen after every single meal. Doesn't always happen. But we try. We're actually not going to be home for supper today, so I'm going to go ahead and close the kitchen now. I'm just going to give everything a good wipe down, tidy up, vacuum. I might mop. We mop the kitchen every day because of our white floors. I mean, the footprints, the footprints on these floors, I tell you, are 
I'm gonna do that now so that I don't have to do that when we come back tonight. weekly cleaning routine looks like that is how we are able to maintain a clean home every single day and still have our weekends free of course this cleaning method and these cleaning hacks that I shared with you today are totally customizable to your needs your cleaning habits and methods and whatever you choose you can totally customize it to be more suitable for you. If you aren't already, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell icon as well so you get notified as soon as the video goes live. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. 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 Bye